How are artists working with technology to connect us more deeply with the environment and to bring about systems change? My name is Lucia Pietrojusti. I'm a curator with a specific focus on the intersections of art and ecology. In this episode, we'll be meeting two artists. We'll be looking at very specific work and we'll be asking how they are responding to the environmental crisis. My name is Olafur Eliasson. As an artist, I'm very interested in the relationship between human and the world around them. I decided to make a work of art for the youngest people. I thought I'm interested in the future of the well-being of the planet. I thought, okay, let me make a work of art together with the children. It's not actually for them. It's something where I ask through this app, a speaker, the children to become the artist. My name is Marina Zerko. I am a new media artist. My practice is focused on intersections of our mental worldviews and the natural world. The Climoji Project is a set of emoji about climate change. There are 17 in the first set. Each of them addresses a cause or a symptom of climate change. The Earth Speaker is a way to carry a message from the child into the world. And it is made with children, and it is made so that children can express themselves so we can acknowledge that they have a voice. They have something to say. The project arose from a conversation I was having at ITP at NYU where I teach with a student. We were running a sustainability group there. And I was saying that I thought we needed shorthand. Emoji are such amazing shorthand. Why is there no funny shorthand for climate change? It's really trying to look at symptomatic and causal subjects. So how can you have some kind of shorthand that allows you to maybe communicate with somebody who's not necessarily using a reusable bag or thinking about where their garbage is going. A kid with a phone turns on the app, chooses a sort of animated face, and then it says something. I would like, when I grow up, that there's lots of trees and the city of Berlin is completely green. Where should I put this message? Oh, I'm gonna put it on this tree. And so funny, so the tree, the tree says, when I grow up, well, it's gonna be a big tree one day. So the child puts it on the tree, and it's done. And that little film with the tree speaking, you can send that to your mother or you can send it to your teacher. The reason it's important that climate change is part of the cute sphere, the reason why this should be in there is it is such an important topic of conversation. It's as important as emotional states. I don't know that it makes change, but I do believe that if you have visual culture around climate change, it begins to sort of enter the psyche differently than if it's just a bunch of news reports and science reports on the side. The core of the artwork, to feel listened to, to feel seen and met and heard, what better experience can it be that you have the sense, wow, I'm actually being listened to. The Earth Speaker, I call it an artwork, it's a kind of a camera that allows the child to become an artist. And what are they making? They're making tomorrow. They are expressing themselves and my promise in return is to make sure somebody listens to them. The climate crisis faces us head on. It's incredibly unequally distributed. And so the questions around the effects of the climate crisis intersect with questions around social justice and indigenous rights. And all of those things are kind of coming to the fore today. And it's really important and quite urgent that we throw everything that we've got, every discipline that we have at our disposal in order to tackle it. In part three, we'll be looking at the future of art, technology, and the environment. Hyundai Motor, connecting art and technology. Mm -hmm.